have a friend who she needs like some help with her Java homework. So I'm gonna help her uh, with that. And actually, you guys can all help me with with her homework. I think she's having some trouble with like exception handling in Java. So we can take a look at that. It's like a course I took like a year ago. So I don't know if I remember the whole thing. Check this out. What is that? Tweet by Elon Musk. Bernie Sanders, we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share. Period. I keep forget. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you're alive. Dude, no shot. Elon Musk said this. Want me to sell more stock? <laughs> Yo, goddamn. Bernie got ratioed. Ugh. I can't do school anymore. I legit feel I'm going through depression. Rish, same here, dude. Same here. I actually feel depressed every day, dude. You're not alone, man. I think it's just I'm a bit burnt out. You know, when you're burnt out, you just gotta you gotta realize it and accept it, I guess. Accept it that you're not gonna do as well uh, in your current state of mind compared to some some time before. We're gonna get through it, man. We're gonna get through it. You know, last month um october i was like there was some point at some point i was like dude i'm done i like i'm done with everything like, i'm done with school i'm done with youtube i'm done with everything i'm about to like go crazy and but i just reminded myself that this will pass like everything every hard thing that happened in the past right it passed at some point it, it finishes like now it's like kind of finished so like I, I feel so much better you know my first line of code was at a hackathon i did not know how to code at all and i went with sing and another friend named Joey. And so we were, we went to this hackathon, right? From McGill University. And it was my, I, ne I, I didn't even know how to code. They basically taught me how to, to code. He was like, oh, this is how you make a button in HTML and shit. And then we actually won second place at the hackathon with some like bullshit ass project. I don't even know how we won. So I'll be calling my ex Tom. We have been chatting on and off for a good month. Dude, I thought this was a programming question when I read the first half. Any tips for the call tomorrow? I really love her. RB, I'm not the right person to ask this. I'll be honest with you. I tried to call my ex. She didn't respond. Dude, I feel like these type of conversations, they never go well. If you're trying to call your ex, it's like, it never ends well. But I don't want to discourage you. I don't know your situation. Uh, maybe you guys are on good terms. Wait, you said we have been chatting on and off for a good month now. Dude, you have a shot, RB. You got this, dude. Dude, I cannot. I don't want to fuck this up for you. I don't want to give you any tips because I have I have been single for the past two years, dude. If you asked me this question three years ago when I was a fuck boy, I, I could have helped you. But now I'm literally like a virgin computer science kid who just stares at a computer for 12 hours a day and films some videos. So I don't ask me. Nicole, do you mind coming on stream? Are you stressed? Oh shit, dude, it's fine, dude. Everyone in the chat are idiots. All right, guys, press one in the chat if you're an idiot. So no one's gonna judge you, Nicole, all right? We're all idiots. See, look, they're all pressing, look, they're pressing one. Dude, no one's gonna judge you. We're good. Dude, I don't even know if I know the answer to your question. Don't, don't be stressed. It's fine. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I've never been so stressed. I'm stressing out. <laughs> Dude, why are you stressed? It's fine. Dude, you're probably a better coder than half of these idiots in the chat, all right? Don't worry about it. Let's see, let's see it. So basically, it's a program where you have to convert CSV files to LaTeX. CSV files to LaTeX. Oh my god, dude, that sounds pretty complicated. Dude, I never had this assignment when I was taking this class. What class is this? It's 249. Weren't you a TA before? Oh shit. Yeah, I was TA for yeah. this class. I forgot. That's why I'm reaching out to you. <laughs> dude, but this sounds so complicated. What the hell? I didn't even have this shit. Yeah, it's due tonight, so you guys help me. Maybe I'm fucking dumb. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the way to send, like, throw an exception and sending the message as a parameter, and also then close the program at this, uh, right after. Okay, I'm hearing some uh, uh, information from the chat. They said, put it in a try catch. If you put the throw in a try catch. Oh. Wait, actually, no. You will put the whole thing in a try catch. I think the, the the assignment wanted us to send a message as a parameter of CSV file invalid exception. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So here's oh, I remember this shit. Okay, so here's what you do: <laughs> go down a bit, go down a bit. Yeah. So this is a type. Your CSV CSV file invalid exception. It, it's a class, and in this class, it accepts a message. Right, go into your class CSV file invalid exception. See, there's a message here. This constructor takes in a message, right? So you can pass yeah. in a message into this 
into this crap. You want to pass this message into this thing when you create this exception. And I think you did that. Go back. When you throw it, right? See, you're, you're putting that string inside. Do you see? Exactly. Throw new. Yeah. So you want to get this message from here. And you can do that by doing e.get message. So if you go back up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here, instead of doing system. Uh, well, yeah, you can still do system.l.println, but the message mm -hmm. erase the string inside, erase this whole thing inside the parentheses. Yes. Okay. And inside here, you're going to do e dot get message. Now, now this works and you can also use system dot error dot print ln. True. Know yes. Yeah. But like, I think either way is the same shit, but this, mm -hmm. this works for you, right? Does this um, apply to your standards? Yes, I think it's actually solved. So essentially when you use get message, um, this entire string is going to get, get printed. Yeah, basically like uh, the exceptions themselves are objects. So you can go inside that, yeah. you can store stuff inside and then you can extract it oh, in other parts I'm of your program. Sweet. Since you're, path, you're throwing that exception around and at any given yeah. point, you can extract information from that object. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. I think that's it. Honestly, that's it. Good job. Wait, so how do you how, how do you like coding so far? I I like it. I start to feel like I chose the wrong major because you know I'm I'm not in CS major, right? Yeah. So um Yeah, so yeah. chat she has a CS wait, is it minor? Minor for you, right? It's a minor. Okay. Gotcha. Exactly. Wait, so you're liking it. Kinda. Do you wanna do like software engineering as a job? Um, not really, because <laughs> yeah. I'm doing cyber. No, I'm doing like um, you know, I don't know if you know red team, like red team? penetration te penetration testing. Oh, for okay, okay, right, right, right. You like cyber that's, security? Gotcha, yeah, that's what gotcha. I do. So yeah, not really software development, but no, that's good. Cyber security. cyber security is good. It's it's high paid as well. It's just more niche. Do you want to switch to computer science? <laughs> Yo, bro, let me graduate. I just want to get the fuck out ASAP. I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. Maybe, I dude, am... maybe you will like web development once you start 287. I actually, I took some UDM, UMI courses. Uh huh. And yeah, I like it. I like them a lot. Yeah, I won't keep you too long. Thank you so much for helping me out. No problem. I hope you're well. Yeah, see you around, dude. All right, dude. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. Dude, I was scared I wouldn't be able to help. I don't I don't remember uh, my Java <laughs> but it looks like I do